Charlie Hoop. I hope this is switched the right way around. I am gonna do some painting and I am just setting up quickly. So I think I need to turn the camera. I don't know why it doesn't turn this on my phone now. I'll just turn it this way then. I hope that works. So today I am going to paint a seascape on this little tiny canvas over here. And let me just see so that I can get the camera angle right. I hope you can hear me okay. So now because this is on my phone and for some reason it doesn't allow me to turn it the other way around. I'm not sure why it used to do that before, but never mind. We'll make do with it this way. <clears throat> so I will now start a little Sorry about that squeaking sound, it's the easel, not easel, um, tripod, sorry. <clears throat> yes, so, 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 uh, Mubis Art, hi, thank you so much for joining. So I'm gonna paint on this mini canvas over here. My voice is some, for some reason breaking a little bit, so I won't be speaking all that much, I will mainly be painting but I will see your chat here on the side. So do let me know if you pop in and if you're painting with me or simply just watching. I am using this type of brushes. I'm using acrylic paints, Winsor & Newton. These are all listed in the description below. <clears throat> Anyways, guys, how are you today? Let me know in the chat box. How has your week started? It is Tuesday today. I have spent most of the day in my art studio and painted a lot of stuff. I painted two other canvases. And now I'm gonna continue with this one. I'm actually running out of space, so that's why I decided to do this one live instead of instead of filming it because yeah I need to figure out the whole storage and space and everything but now we are live today at least uh, what might you are hey thank you for joining I can see the chat here on the side even though I can't see the screen but that's okay um, I mentioned before that my voice has been breaking a little bit so I won't be speaking too much I feel like I really have to force out all the sounds right now so bear with me I might be quiet but I will be painting instead so thank you so much for joining me and let's get started this is phalo green and ultramarine blue and I will be sketching out some waves first and then I'll start filling it in Davy, thank you for joining. Yes, small canvases are fun to work on because it's so quick and it's so fun to just play with the colors. So let's see how this turns out today. I'm just gonna build it up with different layers. I love painting the sea and painting waves. I was brought up on a tiny little island on the coast side of Finland so I was always around water when I was a kid and now I live in central London so I'm far away from the coast side. I'd say the closest coast side is Brighton probably 
and that's a couple of hours away on the train. <clears throat> So instead of going to watch the waves every day, I attempt to paint them a lot. I'm also painting the sides of this canvas. And I will be going back and forth with different layers. What I tend to do often is I tend to start doing two small details instead of just sort of leaving it big. So I'm trying to keep it big this time. I have another painting right here where I painted a lot of waves as well so I'm gonna keep that close by to keep it as a reference. <clears throat> How have you guys been though? How's your week? What are you up to? I'm blending in a little bit of white into the mix of phthalo green and ultramarine blue and I'm gonna add a lighter layer on top of these waves <clears throat> it's so annoying whenever it goes a tiny bit colder outside i always tend to lose my voice so if i sound funny do bear with me Okay, I'm gonna add even lighter on the top. Same here, the cold is moving in, says Davy. Yeah, it was 8 degrees in London, it's been raining for a couple of days. So, so. But I mean, it's autumn, it's mid-October, so it's very normal. To have some colder weather. I must say I love 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 mixing colors and especially when you paint waves because it's not so precise that's the fun part of it. It's quite abstract even though it's it's waves right it's not completely abstract but it's fairly abstract because it's just different shades of blue really. So I tend to play with the colors and blend in different layers to make it look realistic. Realistic yet abstract. Um, one might be already saying, I'm hoping for snow. Last year we got none. Oh my goodness. We barely get any snow here in London either, but I come from Finland as I mentioned. And there we do get snow every year. Where in the US are you living? One might see are if you usually get snow. I actually quite like snow as well, but here in London everything stops when it's snowing. So it's not really that convenient. Like the buses stop and the trains stop, stop running and it's a little bit of a headache if you need to get somewhere. In Finland it's just another day, but here it's chaos. Delaware. I don't know Delaware. Oh my gosh, I'm starting to sound like an old lady with this, with this voice. So annoying. Right, let's see. Let's get a bit of structure to this. You have to be quite quick when you paint in acrylics. 
because it tends to dry fairly quickly and what if you want to blend and dry dry brush and blend it kind of have to speed it up a little bit otherwise it won't blend as well i need some more white luckily i have this massive one can you hear me okay by the way despite my voice and everything i'm doing the live on my phone today so 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 i hope the mic is okay on the phone let's not add too much green phthalo green i think this one is quite a nice shade and i'll add that on top like that yeah that looks quite nice I am thinking about moving over to oil paints because they don't dry as quickly. So then you do have more time to build up and add layers and whatnot. But I think it's good to practice with acrylics and then eventually move over to oil as oil, oil paints are more expensive. So, adding a bit of white, trying to move quite fast so it doesn't dry in. ZA Artworks, hey, how are you? Thank you for joining us today. This is turning out to be quite a stripey one now. Trying to make it not too green because the sea I'm used to is not that tropical green, it's more of a dark blue kind of shade to it. So this is just the first layer. I will be adding more layers to this. I think the more layers you add, the more realistic it turns out. And I'm painting the edges here as well. <clears throat> I need some more blue. Dave is saying the painting is looking very good. Thank you so much. You guys are always so encouraging. And I just noticed that I don't have any moderators on right now. <laughs> so I hope all the naughty people stays away. You know, sometimes if I put my face on the thumbnail, I tend to get more dodgy people. <laughs> so I started to just post on the lives. I'm just posting empty canvases for now and hoping that will help. Okay, I'm adding some more shadows to the waves. Uh, yeah, Dave is laughing. You know, there are a lot of lonely people on the internet, right? So, uh, lonely people. I don't know. You guys know how it can be here on this platform sometimes. Especially here and on Instagram. If you haven't joined me on Instagram yet, I do have one where I only post my artworks, which is Charlotta underscore Sophia underscore art. And I try to stay fairly active on that one. Go 
gosh, I so love to paint with this sh these shades and painting ocean waves is so relaxing. I could literally do this all day, every day. So I think the easiest way to paint the ocean is to start with the darker shades so you know roughly where your waves will be landing and then adding, filling it up with the middle tone and then adding highlights on top. So you kind of get the movement of the water. And as I said, when you're painting waves, it's very abstract so can't really go wrong then I just go backwards and forwards with the highlights and the shadows and kind of see what works with whatever I'm doing and I'm just playing around with different shades really Quite like making these kind of oval shapes in the waves. I think I need to move over to a smaller brush soon. Just want this kind of consistent movement from the dark to the light here first. I think maybe I'll may add this one and make this a bit higher up there. So it's not too stripey. <clears throat> ah, they seem to avoid art streams. <laughs> I turn their hate into watch time. Well done, Mighty Art. That's the way to relate to it. But you know, there are all sorts of dodgy though. And it might scare away genuine watchers. I mean, you get used to it as a content creator, but sometimes you have people that come on to that genuinely want to paint with you and then you have all these random con comments. So yeah, there's that. Do you guys live close to the sea, close to the ocean? If you do, I envy you. How's that looking? I'm fairly happy with that, I'll say. For being the first layer. I think I'm gonna take this brush, which is completely dried, and I'll go over it a little bit to blend in here and there. Make a bit of a soft edge. So it blends in the shades nicely like that. You lose the brush strokes when you do this. Oh, this is so satisfying. <laughs> I know I'm a bit of a weirdo when it comes to blending colors, but hey, I love doing this. That's why I run this channel in the first place. <laughs> You don't need to question my authenticity. I love doing this. And now you can see how the colors just gently and softly blend into each other. I do want to mention, by the way, that I run meditative art sessions for adults and for adults where we just blend different colors and paint something simple and it's done over zoom so it's global access 
So if anyone is interested in doing meditative art with me, do get in touch. Did I remember to? Of course I didn't. I thought I painted that part, but no, I did not. I'm gonna take the other brush again. And add some color to this side. <clears throat> Charlotte, you are from Norway, question mark. Almost. I am a Viking, but I'm not from Norway. I was born in Finland and my parents are both Swedish speaking, which makes me Feno Swede. I don't know if you heard of that term before. Feno Swedes are, we are a small ethnic group on the coast side of Finland and in South, South Finland around Helsinki area and our mother tongues our mother tongue is Swedish but we're born in Finland so we're called Feno Swedes we have our own flag and everything but you might not have heard of us <clears throat> we are getting less and less we're like five percent of the Finnish population at the moment <clears throat> So I went to like Swedish schools and my whole community was Swedish speaking, but in Finland on the Finnish side. <clears throat> what else did I miss? Atlantic Ocean. Okay. They would say North Sea. I live 10 miles away from the sea. Okay. That's still quite far. <clears throat> Man the long ships, yeah? <laughs> now I will continue. How is this looking? Does this look like like the sea? I hope so. From where I'm sitting, it does. I hope it makes sense for you guys as well. The way I'm trying to shape these waves right now. I will start adding some more highlights. Um, I'm just thinking though. Maybe this one. I'm going to use a smaller brush. Let's make that one a bit wet. Do you know what I don't have? I don't have tissue paper. Simone! I finally have a moderator on here. Simone, I was just complaining that sometimes we get dodgy people and please ignore because i'm not looking at the screen all the time so i might not be able to block in case someone is saying something funny <laughs> but now that you are here i'm feeling a little bit more safe how are you today simone how's the kids you might have also missed that i was mentioning that i am losing my voice a little bit so in case I sound funny, that is why I'm completely okay. I just struggle with my voice sometimes. So now I will start adding. This is my absolute favorite part of painting the ocean is adding the white part because that's when it starts looking realistic. And I was just saying earlier that I genuinely love blending in different shades and playing with colors. It is proper satisfying. So I'm making this kind of like oval shaped long, long lines and then building up towards this little wave over here. By the way, I have to ask, thank you, Simone. Simone is saying it's looking fab. I have to ask, what are you guys binging on on Netflix at the moment? Me and my partner have been watching Homeland. It's obviously not a new series, but it's so intriguing. It's so, um, it really sucks you in the story. And it has so many twists and turns. So we've been binging on Homeland now for a few days. 
just watched one episode before I came on here. <clears throat> Ooh, look at that. Isn't that pretty? If I do say so myself. Oh my goodness, it's so satisfying. <laughs> You know what I love about these uh, these lives is you guys already know that I'm a weirdo so I don't need to try to hide it let's make a little wave up here maybe some fluff as well there we go one my theory is saying um, a show called the protector on Netflix Someone has mentioned The Protector before. I don't remember seeing it though, but I definitely have to look it up because I've heard someone else mentioning that as well. And Simone is saying, I haven't seen Homeland before. Homeland is about the American intelligence and the Marine and kind of like double, double agents and you can't really know who to trust and who's, who's on the good side and who's on the bad side and and yeah, it's quite intriguing if you're into that sort of thing, Simone. And then it's about their families as well and how they can't tell the families everything and what kind of problems that brings along. <clears throat> um, Davey saying, I'm going to start watching Raised, Raised Wolves soon. Raised by Wolves, probably. I haven't seen that either, but I remember Dancing with Wolves. Do you remember that one? From like, I think from the 90s, probably. That's an old one. Making another little of these oval shapes over here. Now the first layer is starting to dry a little bit, so it's getting a little bit sticky. Like the brush doesn't move as smoothly anymore. You have to be so quick when you paint with these uh, acrylics. Like sometimes it's a good thing because you don't have to wait for the layers to dry that long. But sometimes it's annoying if you wanted to do something more. I just added a tiny bit of water now to keep it a bit moist until I'm happy with it. Wolf sounds uh, awesome. Oh yes, Dancing was a great film. See, even though you said movie, I read film. That's how long I lived in the UK, hey? <laughs> it's gonna be nine years in January since I moved to London. Time flies and guess what? I only came for a year, but I'm still here. And it doesn't look like they're gonna get rid of me anytime soon. Can you hear the police cars outside? Not sure if you can hear them. That's another thing about living in central London is there is always something going on. And oh my goodness, I really, really hope we won't go back to lockdown again. But it is, they are discussing it every day now since the cases are going up, but please. I can't do that <laughs> because I finally built up a new schedule again and back to work and everything so going back to lockdown would be a disaster although it would give me more time to do my own paintings though but you know economically let's put it that way I would prefer not going into lockdown again Though it gives me a good excuse to stay here in my art studio. Yes, I quite like that. 
Shall we add some more green here, maybe? <clears throat> it's a sci-fi series, Mighty. Watch the trailer. Okay, I have to look that up as well. <laughs> dancing wolves? No, not dancing wolves. Raised by wolves, he said. <laughs> dancing with the wolves was... Who was that again? Kevin, Kevin Costner or someone like that? Can't really remember anymore. Let's see what shade is this. Yes, this could fit in over here. Let's make some more of those oval shapes over here. I love doing these random lives as well because I don't really plan it so don't take any pressure on producing something super awesome. I just go with the flow. I know you, One Mighty are you've been good at running your lives quite frequently now. It looks like you have like a schedule that you follow and it seems like you already know what you're gonna be doing in the next one. I just randomly put the camera on and today it was because I was running out of space. I need to edit a video for a client who asked me to do a class for her, a filmed class for her. So I need to edit that one to get some space. But meanwhile, I'll do a live, I thought. I can still see some of these white bits from the canvas, which is annoying my eye a little bit. So I'll try to cover all of those bits. Uh, one mighty R is, uh, Simone says, yes, Kevin Costner. Yes, I remembered right. <laughs> one mighty R is saying, now I'm just streaming like crazy. I need 600 hours. Oh my goodness, but you're nearly there though. That's really, really good. You're gonna get there quite soon because I see that you have a lot of people watching your lives and they're really good quality. So I am sure you'll get there in a couple of weeks time. Keep going. I think I have about, how about 400 hours, I think. But I'm not getting that loads 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 of hours at the minute because i haven't been that active with lives and stuff so that i'll get there eventually just enjoying the journey meanwhile <clears throat> simone you mentioned the new feature about i didn't remember what it was called it's short short shorts maybe youtube shorts on the stories that they, they I saw that they're testing it in India now. Have you heard anything more about that? When is it com gonna come to the UK or the US? Have you got any news on that? Because I saw you were posting a few shorter, like one minute videos as well. So I was thinking if that's connected somehow. So I mean, I do love me. I'm using TikTok as well, and I do like making like shorter like super speedy videos so i do definitely want to test that out when it comes now this color looks a little bit out of place but i'm just gonna blend it in a bit Oh no, I 
need more green. Journey25 said that he thinks it will come soon, but he said jump on the bandwagon now. But I mean, is it because you have to post it on, it's called, I think it's called YouTube Shorts, the one that come up on the stories. Is it going to be, are they going to be adding all of the videos that are one minute? Is that what you mean by jump on the band <laughs> bandwagon? <laughs> Uh, Davey, so Simone was mentioning that they're gonna they're introducing a new feature on YouTube that they are now testing in India, which is YouTube Shorts, which are I think one minute long videos, a little bit like TikTok, but on YouTube. So short videos that are roughly I think one minute. I think Simone knows better about that. He said that it takes two weeks for YouTube to show show it to non-subscribers. Um, they don't have the proper feature, but they just did a video on the video. Okay, so it's worth giving it a go. He said it takes two weeks for YouTube to show it to non-subscribers. Oh, that sounds nice. Yeah, I love when they bring new features for us to play around with. But it's not gonna help our view time a lot because they're under one minute. Unless they go super viral, obviously. <laughs> so if it's anything like TikTok, you can get views very easily. So if you get more people watching, obviously you'll get more time, but... Let's see. Now that's blending in a little bit more. Okay, so what's next? Shall we? Add a little bit of white again. I hope you can see okay, by the way. It looks okay, I'm looking up on the screen now. The thing with the chat on the screen up here is it disappears in like a few seconds. So I'm doing the live on my phone. I hope I have, let's see, I hope I have enough battery in case I disappear, you know why? <laughs> I can't get that up right now. Um, Simone is saying birds, birds I saw it on Instagram and are following me and shared, shared it on their stories and wrote me a lovely message. Bahama Jim is showing up on stories because his videos are less than a minute so they show up even without the proper... F oh really Simone that is very interesting. Visual A101 lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in such a long time and I must admit it is ages since I've been to your channel as well. I do have to um, come over soon because I have no idea what you've been up to. Please update me. How's life, Michelle A? Have you been uh, active on YouTube lately? Is it just me missing out or have you had a break? There's a little splash here on this one. Although I was thinking not to do any splash, but I couldn't avoid it. There we go. That's a massive splash. Did I overdo it again? <laughs> I do tend to overdo it with the white. It doesn't matter if it's stars or if it's like shimmers on these waves. Let me find a smaller brush before I get too excited about this. <laughs> really, it has been ages. No, I have been posting. Okay, I really, really, really have to come over to your channel. 
because I haven't been watching your videos in a long time. I don't know why, it happens sometimes, right? That you lose track of people that you used to watch frequently. So I'm very, very happy to see you here. And you're reminding me of your channel now. Okay, let's add some final details. And you know what else I've noticed is that YouTube sometimes unsubscribes you from channels. I don't know why they do that either, but someone said if you haven't been watching, if you if you haven't been watching their content for a while, if you're too inactive, then sometimes YouTube unsubscribes you from their channel, so that's not very nice. Let's see, I want to make some shimmers on this water. Maybe up here. Um, what might you are, if you're still here, what is your big plan once you reach your 4K? Will you continue with lives or what's your plan? That is meant to be shimmers in the water. Not sure if it looks that way, but that's the, that's what it meant to be. Um, That's not good if they are doing that. I like how you blend the colors. Thank you so much. YouTube does that does it all the time. It's called the purge. <laughs> yeah, and I mean they sometimes they delete accounts that aren't active, but I mean if it's just because you haven't been watching a channel for 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 a while, then it's not really fair that they delete you. It's very harsh, isn't it? They should be so supporting us content creators, but instead sometimes it feels like they're fighting against us. But hey, we'll make the most out of it. So yeah, I love blending in shades with this massive brush. And I'm doing that with the white now as well to make it a little bit more natural. Um, artist KS. Hi, how are you today? Thank you for joining us. Where in the world are you? Does that look somewhat natural? I hope so. I have some white on this big brush still, so I'm going to use it to... Blend in a little bit more. Let me just have a quick look. How does that look? I believe I'm gonna remove this one. I'm not that happy with that. So I'm taking some phthalo green and I'm going to cover it up, blending it in with some 
ultramarine blue and white and let's cover this part over here maybe it could be some highlights here on the wave instead I don't like that massive splash I want it to be a bit more soft oh yes that feels better already I think I need to get some fresh ginger for my voice ginger and lemon and maybe some honey oh that looks nice if I put a little bit of a darker shadow on this side looks like it goes down a little bit there and then up again that looks nice I like that shall we do that on this side as well maybe that's quite nice that's better Maybe a little bit less white here as well. Let it sort of blend in there a bit. Um, very nice artwork, I must say. Thank you so much, David. I wish you all a saying looking gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're always so, so, so um, kind. Can't find the word. Supportive, I guess. So yes, painting is one of my obsessions and ocean waves is another one. I also love painting forests and what else? The sky, sun, stars, the moon, galaxies. So I guess that will be my plan if we go back into lockdown. I'm going to paint loads of seascapes and whatnot. Still hoping it won't happen. Okay, I think this is almost done. But I have plenty of white here still. So maybe I should use some more. <clears throat> Let me turn it the right way for you guys. It looks like this now. Somehow it starts looking like, I don't know, like canvas, like something like that. Like it folds a little bit too much sometimes when I make these waves. Like it's a very strong contrast from the white to the dark. But it's okay. The one who tries for perfection never gets anything done, so yeah just gently add a tiny bit without trying to Try not to overdo it. And I 
another thing someone mentioned to me it was actually Joni. You guys know Joni. Joni Young is um, that sometimes, because many times when I do the lives, I show my face as well. And she said sometimes it can be distracting. The face can be distracting if someone is trying to actually paint along. But I guess I'm doing a little bit of both. Okay, shall we call that finished or shall we add some more highlights? <clears throat> uh oh. It was saying low battery. Could you see that? I don't know, it might have frozen for you. You might have seen it, you might have not seen it. But if I'm running out of battery, then that must mean that this painting is done. The universe answered and said, leave it, Charlotte, you are running out of battery. <laughs> so thank you so much, guys. Let me turn this one up. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And here is how it turned out. Here is my seascape of the day. Let me read here. It says... That is really great. I love the small cameras. Well done. Awesome stream. Thank you guys so much. I love you. I appreciate you. And I shall see you ever so soon again on your lives or mine. <clears throat> Catch you online. Bye bye bye. Bye.